Welcome to Billy Gray. I'm Bill Whitney. Recently, I sat down with Ryan Gallimore. He owns the local dry cleaner. It's called Pleats, and it's the best dry cleaner I've ever seen. They do wonderful work. They're accountable for their work. And I asked him a couple of questions about what dry cleaning is and what we as consumers can do to help them be better at what they do, protecting our clothes and ultimately making them last longer. Hence, we get a little more miles for our dollars. So I asked, what's dry cleaning? In short, dry cleaning is washing with a solvent instead of water. They use a silicone based product as opposed to a petroleum based product, so it's not anywhere near as caustic on the environment. It does a very, very good job, and of course it's not as hard on your clothes. The other advantage to that product is that it's much gentler on your fabrics. Next we talked about what we as consumers can do to help them be better at helping us. The first thing he mentioned was, we should know our uniform and have plenty of it so that you're not having to wash it over and over and over again, hence it wears out too fast. Next, he suggests that people send clothes to the cleaners too frequently. Sending them less frequently and touching up in between will extend the life of your clothing. The last thing he mentions is that we act fast in a disaster wine spills, really catastrophic spills, the sooner they get to the cleaners, the more likely they can get the stain all of the way out and restore your clothes to their original condition. Be sure not to overstarch your shirts. Usually everybody orders a little bit of light starch. So there's always a lot of starch on the ironing board, which means that you get residual starch left over from the shirts that were ironed before yours. So go real light on the starch because it builds up on the fibers over the course of time. And in the stress points where you see shirts break down, normally what's happening is that that, that starch is built up and they crack in the elbows and in the joint creases. So light on the starch is a great idea. One more note about shirts. Be sure to take the collar stays out of your collar. If they don't get taken out and they get through the laundering process and get pressed in, the impression gets into the collar and it's exposed to the outside and it looks just terrible. So be sure to remember to take your collar stays out. Now you might ask, don't they take the collar stays out? Yes, of course they do. But they're human too and every once in a while one gets missed and you hate to see a collar get ruined because a collar stay got left in during the process. Finally, I asked Brian, what makes pleats different? He points out that the technological advances in their business are atypical. In other words, they're able to track your clothing throughout the process at a moment's notice. Whenever they've got an inquiry from a customer, they can usually respond right away. They focus very intently on customer service. Everybody focuses intently on customer service. So I'm going to take the lead on this one and tell you, having been a client of theirs for the last 10 years, they are as responsive, as accountable, as friendly, as anybody I've ever met in that business. More important to me, when something doesn't go right, they always bring it to my attention and I never bring it to theirs. They do a very, very fine job taking care of their clients. A couple of tips if you don't happen to be here in St. Louis. Look for a shop that does the work on site themselves. They're more accountable and they have more control over the process. Furthermore, they tend to be more proactive about fixing things. With a kiosk or a place that doesn't do the work themselves, all of the clothes get lumped into a very large drum. It's done in an industrial facility where the water tends to be very, very hot and the clothing gets abused a bit. Also, you don't have the opportunity to face the people that are taking care of your clothes when there's a problem. And that's a little bit disconcerting. You spend a lot of good money on clothes, you'd like them to last as long as possible. And remember, at Billy Gray, we promise to make you feel great about the way you look all the time. <laughs>